How ya do wa? How you do wa? The Homo University. So hey there, peeps. It's Thursday. Hmm. This week we're talking about um, embarrassing things that we've seen, witnessed, been a part of. I don't know. Something about embarrassing situations. I kind of want to tell a story about like when I was embarrassed really badly. Hmm. This one time in uh, middle school, I. Crapped my pants, as some do. Uh, that was definitely one of the most embarrassing experiences of my life. Uh, I was in chorus, and it was like five minutes until the class let out. Five minutes. But I have a really bad digestive system. Like. Things just blow right through me. And that's why I think I stay skinny. Literally, I am hit with this blast urge of, oh my god, I have to go to the bathroom. And my teacher would not let me. <laughs> he said, you, he's like, you should have thought about that earlier. And I was like, ah, I have to go to the bathroom. And so he's like, no, you'll sit there and you'll wait until class is over. It's too soon to just let you go. And I mean, like, it's understandable why he said that. And both my parents are teachers, so when a teacher tells me something, I don't question it, I don't backtalk it, I accept it. So as soon as he said, you're going to wait, I waited. I'm running to the bathroom after class and like 20 feet from the bathroom I'm running and I'm like no no god no uh. and I shit my pants so I went to the nurse to tell her and I was like I was definitely crying I was most definitely crying and she said honey don't feel bad just the other day an eighth grader came in with the same problem and at that point I felt better. But there are so many other really embarrassing things that I have witnessed because I used to swim. I have been a competitive swimmer for like 11 years, I want to say. And during that experience, I have been exposed to a lot of really messed up stuff. On several occasions, <laughs> um, when a girl gets out of the pool, Sometimes she is in a very fragile week of her month. And let's just say that something about the pool water coming off of her suit wasn't quite right. As gross as that is. Um, that has happened a couple times. I have I have seen girls get out of a pool and endometrium. Another thing that happens frequently with swimmers is if you're wearing a speedo and you're a boy, your nuts are going to pop out at some point. I think it used to be like weird for me being like, "Oh, there's a nut over there." Or, "Oh my god." Wiener. Not so much anymore. In college, when I was swimming, <laughs> uh, we would always wear drag suits, which are kind of like tiny trunks, really tiny trunks that are kind of kind of skin tight, but have like a meshy fabric over them for drag. And drag as in resistance and not like as in drag queen. We would do lots of stretches where we would like have our leg up here and like one down here. And when you had your leg up, your nut would pop out one side and everyone would be like, yeah, it's my nut. Have a great week, day, Ugh, I don't know. I need a haircut. Okay, bye.